Hey everyone, so the last five nights have absolutely flown by and the observing run has already come to an end. I want to thank you all for following along, but I wanted to show you a little bit of what happens next. So the camera that we've been using is called the Dark Energy Camera. Now that worked really well for the research that we needed, but it's actually been built for this whole other special project called the Dark Energy Survey. So take a quick look. This is David James. He's one of the scientists here, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about that dark energy survey. Okay, so the dark energy camera uh, is a very new camera which uh, is allows you to see an area of the sky which is six full moons on the side. And so what that means is the, uh, your camera can observe a large part of the sky in one exposure. Uh, and the reason why we built this camera is so that we can look very, very uh, large areas but also very deep. And the thing that we're looking for primarily is this thing called dark energy, which Einstein came up with in 1918 or 1919. And he said, well, instead of the universe expanding like we think it always has, that the, as time goes by, the universe inflates like a big balloon. As time goes by, in fact, not only does it expand, it accelerates, which means the balloon gets bigger and bigger more quickly and more quickly. So instead of blowing up a, normally par a normal party balloon and going <laughs> like this, the balloon of the universe is really going much, much quicker. And so he came up with this thing called dark energy, or what in scientific terms is called the cosmological constant. And what that really means is there's something out there that's accelerating the universe that, does, that has similar properties of mass, but doesn't obey gravity. Because gravity wants to crunch everything up, it wants to, it's an attractive force. Dark energy is like a sort of anti-gravity, it's a repulsion force, so it pushes things farther away. And so the universe appears to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so that's what we're looking for with dark energy. And the way we do that is we measure hundreds of billions and billions of galaxies, and we're looking for things like uh, supernova, which are these big explosions after stars die. And we like those especially because you can measure their distances. And if you can measure the distances to various things, say the edge of the universe that's expanding, you can work out how far away everything is, and also if you measure them over different times, you can work out how fast that is happening, as in, is the universe expanding, or is it accelerating as it expands? All right, so I want to thank David for that quick rundown, and I want to thank all of you for following along. Thank you so much for all the questions you've been sending along the way. If you have more questions, remember you can always send them to marketing at adventuresci.org. You can follow some text and picture updates at adventuresci.org slash blog. And of course, you can keep looking for more videos right here on YouTube. Thanks so much and keep in touch.